friends, I am Aryam Gurud, working as assistant professor in civil engineering department in Sharad Institute of Technology, College of Engineering, Edrao. This is module 2 from Compass Survey. We are going to uh, solve some problem based on Compass Survey. <coughs> this slide refers to the problem based on finding the angles when the four wing of lines are given. In the given problem, four lines are given A, B, B, C, C, D, and D, and the bearings are 45 degree, 120 degree, 200 degree and 280 degree respectively and you are supposed to calculate the angle B, C, D. So while preparing a sketch, first of all you are supposed to select a point A. Through point A you are supposed to show the coordinates and uh, since the bearing is nothing but it is the oriental angle between the north and the given line. So since the first bearing of first line AB is 45 degree 30 minutes, so therefore from reference north you are supposed to show the angle which is going to make an angle of 45 degree and you are supposed to draw a line towards the point B. So after that at point B again you are supposed to show the reference north as well as the quadrant and you are supposed to consider the four bearing of line BC. So the four bearing of BC is 120 degree 15 minutes. So since that line lies in the second quadrant, you are supposed to draw a line from B to C. Again at point C, you are supposed to draw the reference north as well as the quadrants and again from reference north, you are supposed to consider the four bearing of line CD and it is 200 degree 30 minutes. Since that particular line lies in the third quadrant, therefore you are supposed to draw a line starting from C towards the point D having bearing of 200 degree 30 minutes. Then after coming to the point D again you are supposed to show the reference north which is parallel to the previous and from the reference north you are supposed to uh, consider how to draw the bearing of line DE. Since the bearing of line DE is given that is 280 degree 45 minutes since that particular line lies in the fourth quadrant so therefore you are supposed to draw a line starting from D towards E in the fourth quadrant which is going to make an angle of 280 degree 45 minutes. So this way you are supposed to prepare the sketch of open traverse. This slide refers to calculation of interior angles. So the formula is in interior angle B equal to back bearing of AB minus forward bearing of BC. So whenever you are going to calculate the back bearing of AB since the forward bearing of AB is known okay since and the forbearing of ab is 45 degree 30 minute which is less than 180 degree so therefore you have to add 180 degree to get the back bearing of ab and from that you can subtract the forbearing of line bc so therefore the interior angle at b equal to 105 degree 15 minutes similarly you can calculate the interior angle at c that is back bearing of bc minus forbearing of cd in the given problem since forbearing of BC is given so and the forbearing of BC is 120 degree 15 minutes it is less than 180 degree so therefore you are supposed to add 180 degree to get the back bearing of BC and from that you are supposed to subtract the forbearing of CD so therefore the interior angle C equal to 100 degree 0 minutes then exterior angle D equal to forbearing of D minus back bearing of CD 20 degree 45 minutes is the forward bearing of line D uh, and you have to calculate the back bearing of CD. Since forward bearing of CD is known, you can subtract 180 degree to get the back bearing of CD. So you will get the extra angle to 60 degree 15 minutes. So you have to calculate the interior angle, you have to subtract the extra angle from 360 degree to get the interior angle. D. That is 99 degree 41 minutes. Then computation of angles. Observing the bearing of line of a close traverse, it is possible to calculate the interior angles, which can be used for plotting the traverse. At the station where two survey lines meet, two angles are formed. One is interior angle and another is exterior angle. The interior angle or interior angle is generally smaller, which is less than 180 degree. So this slide refers to computation of angles where you are supposed to calculate the angle A where the forbearing of AB is given and 
फोर बेरिंग ऑफ एंड बैक बेरिंग ऑफ ए इज गिवन सो फ्रॉम दैट यू कैन कैलकुलेट द एंगल दिस रेफर्स टू कॉम्पिटिशन ऑफ एंगल्स एंड इन दिस पर्टिकुलर डायग्राम यू आर इंटरेस्टेड टू कैलकुलेट दिन टू एंगल बी हियर इन दिस पर्टिकुलर डायग्राम द बैक बेरिंग ऑफ लाइन ए बी इज शोन एज वेल एज फोर बेरिंग ऑफ लाइन बी सी इज ऑल्सो शोन सो वेन एवर यू आर यूजिंग द फॉर्म्यूला एक्स्ट्रा एंगल बी इक्वल टू बैक बेरिंग ऑफ ए बी सो बैक बेरिंग ऑफ ए बी मीन्स दिस इज अ बैक बेरिंग ऑफ ए बी माइनस फोर बेरिंग ऑफ बी सी सो वेन एवर यू आर सब्सट्रेटिंग दिस यू लुग एट दिस पर्टिकुलर एक्सट्रा एंगल सो बैक बेरिंग ऑफ ए बी सो इन टू कैलकुलेट द इनक्रा एंगल बी विच इज शोन इन दिस पर्टिकुलर डायग्राम यू आर सपोज टू सब्सट्रैक्ट द एक्सट्रा एंगल फ्रॉम थ्री सिक्सटी डिग्री टू गेट द इनक्लूड एंगल then computation of angles while calculating the interior or included angles it is strongly recommended that a rough sketch of traverse must be drawn for the purpose of calculating the interior angles or bearing from included angles uh, a, a sketch always gives the better idea for calculation whether it is included angle or extra angle at any survey station generally the four bearing of one line and back bearing of another line are measured then difference of these two bearings will give you either an interior angle or an exterior angle depending upon the station position this slide refers to computation of angles when the four bearing of each line is given and you are supposed to calculate the include angle in the closed traverse so it is a closed traverse so in the first step first of all we are trying to calculate the back bearing by knowing the four bearing and when the four bearing is less than 180 degree you have to add 180 degree to the four bearing and when the four bearing is greater than 180 degree then you are you are supposed to subtract 180 degree from from the four bearing to get the back bearing of a line so here the line ab so i will prepare the table like line four bearing and back bearing and then by knowing the four bearing you are supposed to calculate the back bearing so let us consider the line ab having four bearing 65 degree so since this particular angle is less than 180 degree we have to add 180 degree to get the back bearing therefore it is 245 degree so 65 plus 180 degree is 245 degree similarly we will consider the next line that is bc 125 degree 30 minutes and uh, since again the angle is less than 180 degree we have to add 180 degree to get the back bearing of bc similarly for cd the four bearing is 200 degree it is greater than 180 degree so therefore in order to calculate the back bearing you have to subtract 180 degree to get the back bearing of cd that is 20 degree 200 minus 180 degree then consider the line de having four bearing 265 degree 15 minutes it is greater than 180 degree to calculate the back bearing you can subtract 180 degree from 265 degree 15 minutes to get the back bearing of de similarly consider the last line that is ea having four bearing 330 degree since again it is greater than 180 degree you have to subtract 180 degree 180 degree so that you can get the back bearing of ea that is 150 degree then next step is by knowing the four bearing of line you can draw the sketch first of all the four bearing of line ab is 65 degree so at point a again a point is marked and through point a you can show the quadrant and the reference north and from reference north you can show the oriental angle 65 degree it is the four bearing of ab so you can draw a line towards the point b a to b similarly at point b again draw the reference north show the quadrant and again consider the four bearing of line bc again from reference north you can have the angle of 125 degree since it is lying in the second quadrant so therefore you can draw a line in the second quadrant 125 degree 30 minutes towards the point c again coming to the point c you can refer the four bearing of cd it is 200 degree since it is lying in the third quadrant you can draw a line from point c towards the point d in the third quadrant showing the angle 200 degree 
similarly at point D the forward bearing of line D is 260 by degree 15 minutes so by measuring the angle of 260 by degree 15 minutes draw a line towards the point E having angle 260 by degree 15 minutes and coming to the point C from draw again the reference north and the quadrants and from point E consider the forward bearing of A having 330 degree since that particular line lies in the fourth quadrant you can draw a line passing through a point E towards the point A it is going to meet at point A so it is a close traverse so here by referring the figure we can calculate the angles so angle A first of all we are supposed to calculate the include angle A so at angle A what we are knowing we are knowing what is the back bearing of A and what is the forward bearing of AB so by subtracting the forward bearing of AB from back bearing of EA we can calculate the angle A that is 150 degree minus 60 by degree that is into angle A similarly at angle we are supposed to calculate the angle B so it is 245 degree is the back bearing of AB line and 125 degree 30 minute is the forward bearing of line BC so by taking the difference between back bearing of AB minus forward bearing of BC you can calculate the include angle B similarly at, at C we are knowing the back bearing of AB uh, sorry back bearing of BC by adding 180 degree to the uh, forward bearing of line BC we can calculate the back bearing and from back bearing we can subtract the forward bearing of line CD that is 305 degree 30 minutes minus 200 degree so it is 105 degree 30 minutes similarly coming at point D since the forward bearing of line D is 265 degree since it is a extra angle you may subtract from 360 degree to get the back bearing so 360 minus 260 by you and you can add the back bearing of CD so it is 20 degree so the include angle D equal to 114 degree 45 minutes similarly you may consider the include angle E and whenever you are considering the or calculating the include angle E you are supposed to consider the back bearing of forward bearing of e, EA which is 330 degree since it is greater than 180 degree so you can subtract from 360 degree and add in the back bearing of DE to get the include angle E and this slide refers to computation of angles when the quadrantal bearing systems are given in the form of forward bearing so generally whenever you are trying to draw the sketch or whenever you are finding the included angles first of all you are supposed to consider the lines and their forward bearings and depend upon the line in which that particular line lies you are supposed to draw a line making an angle of uh, angle theta with reference to north or south so the line AB has for bearing of and 55 degree 30 minute east so therefore whenever you are drawing a line AB you can measure the angle 55 degree 30 minutes from north and then draw a line towards the point B similarly you can consider the at point B you can draw a line from south towards east in anticlockwise direction so that 63 degree 30 minutes line will be drawn which is the four wing of line BC similarly for line CD you may consider the four bearing of CD as 70 degree and 70 degree 30 minutes 70 degree 0 minute east so whenever you are drawing the four bearing of CD from north you can draw a line making an angle of 70 degree towards east similarly DE south 45 degree 30 minutes and E they are drawn to form the traverse In this slide refers to uh, preparing a sketch of 
open traverse wherein the coordinate bearings are given at A, at B, at C, at D, at E and you are supposed to calculate the angle B, angle C, angle D and angle E. In this slide refers to the coordinate bearings which are taken at station A, B, C, D, E and where the back bearings are determined from the core bearings. So whenever you are calculating the input angles, let us say e, B, then since the back bearing of AB line is 55 degree 30 minutes south west, again the core bearing of line BC is 63 degree 30 minutes south east. So you have to add those angles to get the input angles. Similarly, at station C, the back bearing of line BC is 63 degree 30 minute northwest. So similarly, the core bearing of line CD is 70 degree 30 minutes. So you can add the bearings, both these bearings to get the angle C. Similarly, at angle D, you can refer, refer the core bearing, back bearing of CD that is 70 degree 30 minutes which is measured from south towards west. Similarly, the core bearing of DE is 45 degree 30 minutes that is south east. So, we can add both these to get the angle D. Similarly, at point E, the back bearing of line DE is N 45 degree 30 minutes west to that you can add the core wing of line EF that is N 70 degree per minute east to get the angle E. So this slide refers to computation of angles when the bearings are given in the form of core bearing and back bearing and you are supposed to calculate the interior angles of a traverse. So first step in the computation of angle is to prepare the sketch where the core bearing of AB is 45 degree 30 minute which is shown in this particular diagram with reference north. So 45 degree 30 minute is the angle. Similarly, the core bearing of BC line is S 60 degree east which is shown in the given figure at point B. Similarly, at C, the core bearing of line CD is given, it is 10 degree 30 minute south west. Similarly, the core bearing of DA, which is given north 75 degree 45 minutes west. So, accordingly, you may prepare the sketch by using the core bearing of line and by referring the back bearing also. Sometimes, depending upon the situation, you can prepare the sketch. This slide refers to computation of two angles, angle A and angle B. So angle A is calculated as 180 degree minus core bearing of DA plus back bearing of DA. So 180 degree minus 45 degree 30 minutes plus 75 degree 45 minutes. The angle A is 58 degree 45 minutes. Similarly, you are supposed to calculate the angle B. It is the back bearing of AB plus core bearing of BC. So 45 degree 30 minutes plus 60 degree. It is 105 degree 30 minutes. This side slide remaining two angles angle C and angle D are calculated and uh, check is applied for uh, closed hours that is 2 n minus 4 into 90 degree. So angle C is calculated as 180 degree minus 4 back bearing of BC plus 4 bearing of CD. So it is 109 degree 30 minutes. Similarly angle D is calculated as back bearing of CD plus 4 bearing of DA. So 10 degree 30 minutes plus 75 degree 45 minutes. So the total angle is 86 degree 15 minutes. And then you can apply you can apply the check that is make the summation of all the input angles angle A plus angle B plus angle C plus angle D. You should be equal to 2n minus 4 into 90 degree. So here the summation of all the input angle is 360 degree and the sum is also 360 degree. So the, uh, whatever the input angles are there, they are correct. This slide refers to computation of angles when four bearing and back bearing of lines are given and you are supposed to calculate the interior angles. 
so there are four lines a b b c c d and d it is a closed traverse so by first of all by making use of four ring of line you can prepare the sketch the first line comes in first quadrant b c line comes in second quadrant c d line comes in third quadrant and d a line comes in fourth quadrant A B in the first quadrant, B C in the second quadrant, C D in the third quadrant, and D A in the fourth quadrant. Hello friends, I am Aryan Guru, working as assistant professor in civil engineering department in Sharad Institute Technology College of Engineering, Andhra. This is module two from Compass Survey. We are going to uh, solve some problem based on Compass Survey. So this slide refers to competition of angle that is extra angle D. So here the angle D equal to four bearing of D A minus back bearing of C D. So this particular angle it is 288 degree which is greater than 180 degree. Therefore you have to subtract this particular angle 288 degree from 360 degree to get the inter angle that is 72 degree. Then you have to make the summation of angle A plus angle B plus angle C plus angle D. That is the 360 degree, and you have to get the check by applying the uh, check that is 2n minus 4 into 90 degree, where n equal to number of sides of a triangle. So here in this in our case, n equal n number of sides are 4. So 4 into 2 minus 4, 8 minus 4, it is 4. 4 multiplied by 90, it is 360 degree. Therefore, whatever the angles which are calculated are correct. This slide refers to calculation of interior angles. So the formula is in interior angle B equal to back bearing of AB minus four. Thank you.